This video will demonstrate the major features of CyberMatrix Timesheets. Timesheets is an easy to use employee timesheet entry program. Let's begin by adding a new employee. Data can be added and edited in the data manager. Data can be entered in detail view or form view. Let's use form view since it's easier. To add a new record, press the plus button on the toolbar. Notice all the fields become blank. Let's enter the details for the new employee. You can save the new record by clicking the check mark button on the toolbar. Data can also be added using the tools menu. Let's add a new project using the Manage Projects form now. Click the New button to add a new record. Then enter the project details. When you're finished, press the Save button. The Timesheet software can be customized to a certain extent by changing the many configuration options. Since we'll be using Timesheets in a multi-user environment, let's enable the security. The Terms feature allows you to change common program terms. Instead of Client, we want the software to say Customer. We want email reminders for late timesheets, so let's set this up. Press OK to save the changes. Notice that the client column is now the customer column. Let's log in as the new employee. Ordinary employees can only see their own timesheet and cannot reject or approve their timesheet. Let's enter a timesheet now. Save the timesheet by pressing the Save button on the toolbar. Now let's enter an expense item. Press the New button to enter a new expense item. Enter the details and then press the Save button to commit the new expense. We're done with this week's timesheet, so let's submit it. If the total hours entered are less than what has been entered for a normal week in the configuration screen, this confirmation message will appear. Notice that the status has changed to submitted. Let's log in as administrator. 
Administrators and managers can reject and approve timesheets. Let's approve Ed's timesheet. Notice that the timesheet status has changed to approve. Let's create an invoice to send to the customer now. To add a new invoice, press the Add Invoice button. Enter the client and other details. Save the invoice and then print it. Let's run a report on Ed's time now. You can change the reports or add new ones. Let's modify the report we just saw by adding the employee's full name. First, we need to change the underlying SQL to include the name field. Add the name field like this. Then, add the join to link with the employees table. Click OK to save the changed SQL. Now we'll add the name field to the report itself. Now we'll save the report with the new name. To view the new report, choose File, Refresh Report List from the menu. In Timesheets, Employees can be assigned specific projects. Let's do this now. Assign projects to an employee by dragging and then dropping them on the employee. Now we'll set the Limit Projects by Employees option. Notice that the Administrator timesheet lists all the projects, but Ed's timesheet only shows the projects associated to him.
Thank you for your interest in Cybermatrix timesheets. Please visit cybermatrix.com for more information.